Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Daryl, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can add Google Maps onto your WordPress website. Now, there are two ways how you can add Google Maps. You guys can use the Google API key, and you can also embed the Google Map directly on your website. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you both ways on how to do it. So this is an end result of something you can expect with Google Maps. And um, usually, as time goes on, Google APIs become different, and there's different ways to embed them or pl different places to add the API key. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you all how to do this. So I'm going to first go to Google and type in Google API key. You guys have seen I'm, I'm already doing it. I'm already put it in a few times. Now I'll put this link in the description of this video. So if you guys do need help finding this link, you guys can click on the um, the description uh, link in this video. So right here, I'm click on developers.google.com dash maps, blah, 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 get API key. So I'm gonna click on this right here. Now you're out to this page. Now you guys will need a Gmail account. If you guys don't have one, you just sign up. It's free, okay? It's free. Everyone loves free. So right here, click on get a key. Now right here, you're gonna have, gonna have to select a project or create a project. Now if you've never had a Google API, uh, Google API key, you're gonna have to create a project. And it's pretty simple. You just create it and then there you go. You know, it's, it's pretty simple. You just create it and it just creates a little Google API key for you. Now I have a project here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select my API key and click on next. As of right now, it is generating me an API key. Now, depending on your WordPress theme, you will need to put it inside of your theme or um, a module if it asks for Google API key. Now it's kind of funny, a year ago, uh, this wasn't the case with Google Maps. You didn't even have to have a Google API key. Now you do. So uh, you just have to kind of accommodate it. So right here we have the API key. All right, I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to my WordPress theme. Now I'm using the flat sum theme. Now if you guys wanna build this same exact e-commerce website, I highly recommend watching my uh, tutorial on e-commerce. Uh, it's an amazing theme, guys. It's, it's, it, it's the number one rated theme for WordPress as far as e-commerce because this theme has so much customizable features and uh, it also has a, an amazing gallery. You can decorate the shop, the category checkout pages. It's incredible. You can even change the images for the products. And I know that's like half the battle with WooCommerce and Flossom just takes care of all that for you. So it's really amazing. So anyways, I'm gonna go to my theme customizer, go to my advanced and go to Google API keys. Now, depending on your theme, if you're using Divi, it is in the theme options where you can just put in the Google Maps API key. If you're using Elementor, I believe it is in the theme options as well. Uh, for Flatsum, it's in your theme customizer as well. It can also be in certain modules depending on the WordPress theme that you're using. So I put it in right there and then click on save changes and as the end result, you're going to see the map show up on your WordPress website. And here people can like take a look at it. They can see where, you know, wherever you want to show them, you know, with the module that you're using. Now there is a secondary way if you don't have the API option or if your theme just really sucks and you don't have any way to enter the API in there, there is still hope for you. So I'm gonna go over here to Google and type in Google Maps. So right here, I'm gonna go to maps.google and here I'm gonna put in Hollywood. Hollywood, Los Angeles. Now I'm gonna click on share right here. Click on embed map. Now this address right here, I can copy this and I can embed this directly onto my WordPress website. So let me get, go ahead and show you guys an example. Right here, I'm gonna use my page builder. Now, I don't know what page builder you're using. If you're using Divi, it's gonna be the maps module. If you're using Elementor, uh, you know, you guys can use actually text modules for all of these. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. Click on plus. And uh, I wanna grab a text widget. Now guys, remember, when you embed the Google Maps onto your website, it must be a text module in the text section, not the visual, the text tab. Now I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about. So right here, you're gonna go ahead and click on, you know, just put in, put in your, you know, Google map and then voila, it'll appear right there, okay? Now again, depending on your theme, you can kind of control where it is. Uh, you can also control the width and everything here. So right here, put in like 90. See here it says width equals, you can kind of change the width and also the height of it as well. So right here, we can make it even taller, et cetera. Now, just to make you sure you understand how to embed it properly, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just simply, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just close this really quickly and show you uh, what I mean by the visual tab and also the text tab. So right here, I'm just gonna go to plus new and go to page. This is just for quick reference. Now I'm just gonna put map. Now, if I put it right here in the visual tab, if I paste that code in there, it's not gonna work, okay? So if I paste this in here and click on preview, the, you're just gonna get the code. There's nothing that's gonna be done, okay? So remember, whenever you do this, you gotta make sure that you put it right here under the text tab and now if you put it right there, you paste it, 
Click on preview. Magic. Magic. Look at this. Better not mess up. Okay, it's done. So there you go. All right. So that is basically how you embed Google Maps as of 2018 onto your WordPress website. Now, if this video was helpful, make sure to like it. Give it a thumbs up. Tell everyone. Tell your mom. Tell your friends. All right. I will see you all later.